Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working with washi tape. So I don't know if you've made cards with washi tape, but this is what you get. You get these um, die cuts. Pink Fresh Studio um, Indigo Vines has a die that will cut out all these um, pieces from the washi tape. Also, there is a coordinating stamp set and um, it has beautiful sentiments and it's just pretty and the die will cut out um, the stamped images as well. So I had to have the full set just in case I needed it. Um, I cut down my cardstock and to lay down your washi tape, um, it's very sticky and I was trying to line it up um, so I do line it up and the best I can, I could probably, I probably could have done it better, but I was just in a hurry. And then um, it did have some wrinkles in it. So that's where your bone folder comes in handy. You smooth it out. Um, so you just do roll it out a little bit at a time and then uh, use your bone folder and I lay it out until I get to the wreath because that's where the die will cut the wreath and all these um, other images out. So I had fun um, working with this washi tape. Um, I do recommend it. I don't know if you've used Altenew has some I believe. I don't know if they have coordinating dies for them though. It's the first that I've seen. Um, that Pink Fresh Studio had um, came out with this and I was like um, interested in it. It's easy because you don't have to color. Um, no, So no stamping, just die cuts and it feels like it's your own die cuts because you laid it out and used the die to cut them out. Um, I might even make like um, some happy mail packages and send some of these die cuts out. I think that'll be awesome. I do have um, a couple other rolls of this washi tape so that will be fun to play with as well. So I'm just going to use the die. It's awesome that everything's stuck together. I run them through my, run it through my Spellbinders Platinum. I have an 8.5 machine and this die works perfectly. Um, if you have a smaller machine, I, you'll just have to adjust it, I believe. So this um, tape is from Spellbinders and it's very good heavy duty tape. I haven't had it um, tear, which is awesome. So all I do is tape it in two spots. It's strong enough. So, and it feels just like you stamped all the images when you die cut them out. Like it's like exciting to get all these images cut out. And you get quite a few, like I said. So, so pretty. I really love them. Can't wait to play with the other sets. Okay. So um, I chose to foil a sentiment with my glimmer system. I used matte silver and then I cut out some more pieces just using the die so I can double up my die cuts. And I'm just going to, because I didn't want to use foam tape or any kind of tape, so I just doubled up my We'll just cut out my die a few times. Especially the wreath and the sentiment. I think those are cut out three times. 
on heavy duty cardstock. So it's so pretty. So I hope um, you'll use this washi tape too. There's other um, patterns. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, thank you for stopping by and subscribing. Um, oops, sorry. <laughs> I do add some gems, or these are silver pearls, I think. And I love this new tool from Trinity Stamps. So check that out. I will have everything in the description box. Um, I hope you have a great day and I will be back soon with another card video. Thank you for watching.